hate puppies. It's a good podcast. I feel threatened. Thank God I'm not sick anymore. <laughs> Dude, for that's now. a relative state. <laughs> for, for now. <laughs> yeah, give it time, buddy. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Inside the Pallet House. Hope the week has treated you well as we're finally drifting into summer here. You're listening to Inside the Pallet House, the only podcast dedicated to solving first world problems and helping you figure out what to drink. We're full on yeah. South Florida now. Every afternoon we get rain, like straight up thunderstorms. A little bit of rain at some point. It's crazy. A lot of heat. Yeah. A little humidity. I A like little. It. <laughs> Is it, like, is it humid officially? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I, I guess I know when it's miserable. Yeah. But I feel like I haven't really been outside much. When you much. walk outside <laughs> and, and it's not raining <laughs> and you are you wish you're wishing it started to rain so you it would feel better, that's when you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I woke up this okay. morning and every I couldn't see out the house. All the windows were every up. single window completely covered up, condensed over. I got that year round cuz uh I need new windows. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, they got all like that, like water yeah. droplets in them. Oh, you got the original windows in here? I would assume so. Yeah, probably. I would are assume they, so. The uh, double pane or the original single, like wood frame single pane? Wood frame, wood frame double pane. Uh, then the seals are, yeah, the seals are gone. Yeah, they're sweet. Yeah, but I mean, this house is, <clears throat> what, 35, 40? Yeah, 40 years old. That's right, 80, baby. So old. It's time to sell. So old. I think you should sell. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I don't plan on leaving this place. Only because of this. The pallet house. The pallet house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is like the number one saving grace. Yeah. I did think I was about to get humped. Like I have, the way my house is set up, I have an easement back here. Yeah. And so I've got like 10 got feet of trees. some farmland or something too, right? Yeah, and there's like farmland back there. Well, air quotes, yeah. farmland. Used, no, to, used to be. <laughs> not yeah. developed land. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the other day. There were a bunch of trucks out there, and they were taking off all the limbs and oh, knocking down all the stuff. And I was like, oh, crap. What are they building? Like, am I going to have a Walmart back there? Yeah. <laughs> like, what is what is happening here? And sure enough, there's like one spot where they opened up, and now I can see into the farmland a little bit. Probably just like, clearing the easement. They have to do that every so often. Well, it for wasn't the easement. It's the stuff. property. Yeah, but they still might need access. Like, Verizon might have something back there. Uh, it is. The it's ca- Verizon. The, yeah, I was going to say the the power company might have something. So they need to clear that stuff every now and but then. But that isn't, apparently it was the, the landowner was clearing it out for some reason. And what stinks is like two of my neighbors have the same kind of deal where all that overgrowth has made it look like you're it's in the wall. country. Yeah. yeah. They gutted all their Ooh. stuff and now they're looking right at, I was like oh that's <laughs> brutal and mine just has one little spot where I'm like I can live with that I'm yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. pushing the weeds together but you also have like a six foot hill yeah, yeah. before nice. the, you yeah, got the burn back there rolls it's nice up. but yeah I was like I was so panicked I like walked my ass around and like found the workers when they were getting off I like ran out at five o'clock what like, are you uh, doing yeah I was like hey fellas what's up you want some lemonade we're just clear- way, we're- what the hell are you doing yeah, back what's here? going on I was like uh you guys are they building some are they selling or tell me if they're yeah, selling yeah. are they selling they were like I don't think so I think someone just complained that it was like growing it was overgrowing <laughs> so I guess someone yeah, it's your two here. neighbors and now they're regretting it they probably <laughs> no, they probably Verizon probably need to fix something they're like we can't get to it yeah we're not going back there. And then they were like, all right, we'll take care of that. I was worried, though. I was, like, like trying to fish. And I was, I realized they didn't know much. Yeah. But I wanted I wanted answers, damn it. I wouldn't be surprised in this market if somebody just kind of reached out to that guy who owns the property and said, hey, you want to parcel off half an acre so oh, I can build a God. house? Oh, God. That'd be bad. That's what – then that easement will come into play at yeah. least For some. the 10 feet. Yeah, that 10 feet of just overgrowth. Yeah, it's nice. I like that. I like that. But, yeah, I was – Little concern. Then I realized I looked like a Karen rolling up. <laughs> like no matter and I was like I kept saying stuff like like not that I care. Yeah, and I'm like, God, every time I say something asking for a friend. I sound worse. Yeah. You know? I was like, all right. These like It happens. These guys think, Oh, this guy's gonna bitch at us. He cut too far. And then I tried to make a joke about how like 
yeah, there's only one spot where it kind of like now I can see into their yard. And I was like, God, even that sounds bad. So like, yeah. I kept going. You are, Karen. I finally just walked away. Yeah. I was like, you guys have a great day. Do you Homer Simpson <laughs> into the bushes just slowly That's, back yeah. away? It's almost precisely yeah. how it went down. Oh, remember oh look at my watch. Mm. Yeah. Check remember my phone. I, I better. I got to get out. Remember how I told you guys about that, that creepy dude that rolled up when I was yeah. walking yeah, you back? You had a couple interactions your, your with coffee him. coffee guy? Yeah, he rolled by the other day again. Nice. Uh-oh. And sure enough, he comes up and he was like, my daughter's in the CIA. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> you oh, know wow. that We know this. Yeah, I was like, I know that. But this time my wife was with me. Yeah. It was great. So like, yeah. I was like, and I like looked down. I was like, oh, this guy's going to roll up and start talking about his daughter. Watch this. And sure enough. Nailed it. Crazy man rolled up, started talking. But this time he had more stories talking oh, nice. about. Yeah, like Black Hawks. She's been flying in and additional killings that she's done and like man but he doesn't know anything he doesn't know where Th- she is but he knows he everything knows that yeah this guy's living his best groundhog day he and i i talked to a neighbor about it <laughs> and they were like yeah you know people are a little concerned because he keeps coming up talking about some cia stuff yeah. and his daughter and i was like okay that really is to this kind of mental case it is oh, groundhog i day. hope to god it doesn't like he finally gets through all the stories to you and he's like and you figure out that the reason he's repeating it is because you get to the point where my daughter was killed in the CIA, and he's repeating the day. <laughs> oh, that's just horrible. Why'd you make it like that, Stu? I get, because the tragic, ev- tragic events will make people go over the line and f- flip their. If lid. any of that was true, his ass would be capped for all the shit he's talking. <laughs> if the CIA <laughs> knew he was running his yap, probably yeah, he's just dropping all the yeah. codes, yeah, yeah. giving all the all the info you know away, the nuclear dude. football all the intel 4 17 <laughs> 23 4 trust me on this it'd be better if this story was like you know the secret code nine <laughs> <laughs> just, that's it that's it's it just nine one button people think it's longer that's what's confusing about it <laughs> yeah. that's the trick yeah. everything's over yeah. the Easy end of enough. the world how many people need it just one dude yeah just one one dude hits a nine butt dial the other yeah. key doesn't even do anything. Yeah, <laughs> it's a dummy key. It's yeah. a dummy key. Exactly right. So you said uh, you said you felt like a Karen, and that jogged my memory the other day. They were talking about the name Karen. Yes, is plummeted in like year over year. You think? <laughs> would you see how many were named Karen last year? I would. I would put. The, take a guess. Take a guess. I, I would, would. I mean, I would. The guess, entire U.S. twenty twenty. I would guess zero, but I mean, probably like a hundred. You think it was that low? Like, yeah. literally nobody was going to name it? I would think so many people are out of the loop that Karen would still be a pretty popular I mean, name. Yeah, I guess maybe. And obviously people, some people are like probably thinking if I have a daughter, no matter what year it is, I'm, and it's a family name, like that's going to be my daughter's name after my dead grandmother or my mother yeah. or whatever. So, like, there's going to be a number. But So I'll give you a reference. In 1965, it was his highest point. Okay, 30, how high was 33,000 babies in that year were named karen i'm not i don't think i'm too far off with a hundred <laughs> it's it, you're not too far off but it's higher than that okay it's higher than less that. than a thousand yes yeah. there's like yeah. 300 and Three, change 325 for 2020 2019 it was 439 and it's slowly decreasing and it's down 40 so you know what that's, that's great news that's less than one karen a day we're averaging now. <laughs> that's true yes <laughs> yes we would get away with whatever we want soon enough how many karens are actually karens what are the chances like why did that name become the thing like i don't know who who just i don't know randomly it, there must have been one lady who was karen maybe and then yeah. it went viral and it just do you know any karens yeah, yeah i know a couple, I know a couple and they're all nice I- extremely nice i, know, I feel like, bad for what them. i don't know is a is a pain in the ass, Karen. Yes, I literally That's don't true. know yeah, one. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Every Karen yeah. I know is level headed and nice. Yeah. Well, in the in their guy version, that's a uh, yeah, Stu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's research. <laughs> in their a guy version, like I always see the memes with like the backwards hat, monster drink, like his name's Kyle or something. But then there's like a Chad who's like the the douchey white guy and that yep. a name too like when i was in college everyone called him brads brads yeah which but, yeah most brads were fine yeah so i don't know but karen that's a, that's just unfortunate that would suck if your name like if you were if that was your name like if it was yeah it just comes out of left yeah. i met a karen this week really really intelligent and nice person <laughs> <laughs> like just yet another karen who's been falsely accused of all this how uh, many karens have like 
change their name like they go by their middle name or they're like just call me k or something like, like kiki that. <laughs> like, you know it's bad when you'd rather be kiki call me ren call me k ren i don't know call me anything <laughs> call me <laughs> oh it's funny so brendan's highest popularity as a name was 11 percent in 2000 at its highest peak 11 percent. yeah now that's down to point zero two percent of the population right, how could it be 11 percent? like not 11 our point of Sorry, to eleven point one one. Okay, I was about to say literally one of every ten kids. Yeah, yeah. Like so roughly twenty two hundred annually at this high point. Twenty two hundred is the most kids in one year. What about Brandon? Brandon, I feel is, like Brandon is way more popular mm, than Brendan. But I feel like we're wising up. Oh, I'm sorry. So the global ranking. That's what I looked at the graph wrong. Brandon, like you're asking, it's ranked 161 in the world. Brendan is 2200 ranked wow. in yeah. the world. It was so frustrating as a kid. Like oh, you would yeah. you would go in and you look at the license plates, you know, because I always wanted the license plate with my name. Yeah, could never find they it. They always had Brandon. To this yeah. day, in keychains and everything, there's Brandons. Yeah. I never see Brendan. Did you see the show that came on? It was new last year. It had Ted Danson on it called Mr. Mayor. Oh yeah, yes. he's high did you, all the time. Did you watch any? Did you watch it at all? So it. Bobby Moynihan's on that show, and he is freaking hilarious. Yeah. And his name is Jaden, and of course he's like forty years old. And like, when he meets the new young female intern, he's like, "Hi, I'm Jaden." She's like, "Jaden." He's like, "Yeah, I think I'm the first one ever." Because like <laughs> forty years ago, yeah, there was man. like Jaden won the thing. Now it's like every other kid's a Jaden. So I'm doing it for fun, but you're twenty second in the world. Or two, 20, 220. He's pointing at 2200 me. 2200 in the second. Yeah, Brendan. I can't even say it. Trying to help out for the 2200 20. ranked. Troy is. It's got to be even. 1500? Uh, I would say less than Brendan. Mm. Really? I think Troy's a popular name. This is now once I was born. Global. I made it popular. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Hmm. I Doesn't remember when we oh. had kids, they were like, what do you want to name her? I was like, not Troy. <laughs> <laughs> I've met girls named Troy. 20, really? 2,600 mm. for Troy, 2,641. Boom. Told you. Look at that. And Stu. Nobody wants know. to name their kid Stu. Not anymore. <laughs> not after this. <laughs> I was listening inside the pallet house. I don't think I'm going to name my kid Stu. Yeah, I don't know why. Hmm. That's a lot. That's a big, uh, big Big task naming your children, dude. It's heartbreaking, and we can't get into it because we don't. Yeah, we don't name our children. They're not even giving me a global ranking. I can tell you this: <laughs> when when my youngest daughter was born, oh. we had a we had agreed on a, on like a a funky spelling uh-huh. of her name. Yeah, because there's a bunch of different ways you could probably do that name. Yeah. So there's yeah. and and we had agreed on oh. it. Like we'd come to the conclusion, okay. and my poor wife. They they brought in like the card right, uh-huh. and I wrote her name on it in the way we had agreed upon, which is clearly misspelled. Yeah, but it was hip, I guess. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. So I'm looking at it. Mis- it was different. Yeah. So I'm looking at it misspelled, and I'm staring at it, and I'm like staring at my wife, who's just so <laughs> tired and beat up, and I just feel horrible for her, and I'm staring back at the name, and I'm like. I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> like, like, I, like, like if I phonetically say, say it, yeah, it comes out all funky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, it so does, she's so it didn't get, look right. Yeah, it just didn't. It, yeah. it looked right in my mind yeah. when we agreed upon it. I'd seen it one time, and it never. But now that I was sitting there, like with the legal document, yeah, and I've written it out, I'm just staring at. It. I'm like, honey, I, I. I can't. Like, I don't like the way this is spelled. I don't like the way it looks. I'm good with the name. Yeah. But we got to go traditional. And she's like, we agreed on this. I'm exhausted. (laughs) I've just had a baby. And I'm like, I just, I I can't. I can't do it. And finally, we were like, let's flip a coin. No way. Damn. And I flipped a coin and I I won. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) And. And <laughs> is she mad about that to this, to day? this day? Oh man! To this day, I'm gonna say something next time I'm around and be like, "Why is their name spelled that way? That's weird." I would have gone and then go with the other spell. I'll tell you how to spell it. <laughs> I will. I'll I'll, I'll hook That'll you up. Be with awesome. It. But she was. Have I, you told it, your daughter this story? 
Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. You think my <laughs> wife hasn't told oh, yeah, this yeah, story? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not even your real name. <laughs> yeah. Well, she had a book. My my sister in law actually sent us a book because she knew All the, the names, spelling. Yeah. So as soon as we got home, there was a book with the misspelling oh, and the fairies snap. come down yeah, and they yeah, spoke. Yeah, like a so, custom book, but it had yeah. the wrong custom name in it. So my daughter had that forever, and she's like, "This isn't even how I spell my ma- my name." Once she learned how to read, and yeah. my wife's like. Oh, it oh, is. It is. That's how we spell it. And you can change it at any time if you want to. You just let us know. And I'm like, look, it, it, we, I won that coin toss. And to this day, I still catch flack. But that yeah. was, you know, when you win a coin toss, it's yeah. over, right? Yeah. It's over. That was the hardest win I'd ever got. Like, my stomach dropped. When I saw it come up tails, I was yeah. like, stomach just fell to the ground. I was like, oh. Because you lost that coin flip. I won. Yeah, because you, you, owe, her, you owe her. From, oh, yeah. From you, here on out. <laughs> it's, it was lose-lose from you. The moment that coin went up in the air and started tumbling, it, you were going to lose either way. And when that when that card went in, it had her name with an X through it and then spelled the oh. way I wanted next to it. And she's just staring at me as I just hand it to the nurse. Like after she pushed that baby. That poor woman. And gave you. I know. Mm. Look, I'm not saying I'm. <laughs> I feel horrible. You're not proud of it. No, I'm not proud of it. I, I hate I hate this story. I hate that but it exists. But do you still think you chose Hell correctly? yeah. Yeah. In fact, I wish I'd gone with a traditional Gaelic spelling. Like, if I was going to do anything funky, I wish I'd gone even more yeah, yeah, yeah. traditional. But I went with, like, the American, American yeah. traditional. Yeah. And I dig it. Nice. I'm happy with it, but I will never live it down. I, my wife's got a friend who her parents are, like, the greatest parents ever. She... So they have, they have what they call this is their terminology. They have three homegrown kids, and then I want to say they have twelve adopted kids. What's a homegrown? Like kid? homemade, like how you made your kids. They're biological yes, children. Biological. And then they adopted. They adopted kids. twelve okay. other kids. So they have fifteen kids. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's that. Yeah, I think it's. It, I could be off one or they two. Have welfare. What's the advantage? I have no idea. They're just super nice people. And oh, it's, then I'm being a dick. Yeah, no, yeah, they're yeah. good for them. They're, <laughs> so, they're great people. And they're all of different races, and some are disabled. Like, I mean, they're like super. They're legit. the best people yeah. in the world. Well, so they named they named their kids the three homegrown kids, homemade kids, as they call them, have a names. Well, rude. All, all the adopted <laughs> kids changed their names to have a names. So all oh. like twelve or fifteen of them. So it's like Addison, Allen, yeah, yeah. like across the board. Like, yes. Whew. Damn. I mean, that's a lot of A names to learn. <laughs> Maybe it's twelve total. Maybe there's nine adopted kids. It's it's oh, it's a ridiculous amount of kids. Is my point. Yeah. That's a, and and so all the kids. So if you get adopted, you get to change your name at that point. I mean, you can change your name today if you wanted to. Yeah. I think you have to be eighteen though, right? Or get a parent's yeah. permission. Yeah. 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 Wow. But it's a nightmare, I think. Oh, yeah, that's why I yeah. feel like mine's going to stick. Well, my sister changed the spelling of her name um, when she was an adult, and it's I think it's kind of been a point of contention because it was a family name. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah. But it's still the same name. It's just a different spelling because, you know. Yeah, but you're no longer like the third. But everybody behind – well, she was never the third. But, like, the po- like, everyone younger than us, like – and you see it, and I see it because I coach youth sports – like, you'll have a name like Mike, and it'll be spelled weird. You know, like, everyone has to make everything different, you yeah. know? And it's like, it just yeah. like you said, when you spelled your daughter's name, it didn't look right. And you're reading it off paper. And no, because when like, I read it phonetically, yeah. it was a different word. Yeah. I was like, that's what bothered me. Yeah. My oldest, her and, her, mom, her, and her mom and I got screwed for all of our friends joking on us because we, my grandfather's middle name is Ross. And we decided to name my oldest Emma. So her name is Emma Ross. Which is awesome. The good Everybody name. and their brother, as soon as she was born, she was like, you guys must love friends because that's what Rachel and Ross uh, named their kid. Oh, dagger. That <laughs> I was hurts. like, what? That cuts. No. <laughs> we were, that sucks. I, have a, I had a great aunt named Emma. I mean, they like didn't even come in. We weren't even into the I mean, everybody watched the show. We weren't even into the show at that yeah. point in time. That show so was, was like, overrated. Damn. It can't be overrated. Look at how much it still does. Very overrated. I understand that we think that, but it yeah. can't be because there's an entire generation coming I just think up it's that not a good show. Well, well, my old, I think a lot of the top 
Yeah, there's a lot. Comedy of sitcoms are awful, like Big Bang Theory. Psh, oh, I, I mean, don't, that's garbage. Don't you ever <laughs> garbage. disparage Big Bang Theory. Yeah. What a funny show. It's garbage. But the it's worst. Whether you think. Two and a Half Men's trash. Everybody Loves Raymond was trash. I never liked that one. I mean, two yeah. and a half men. I liked all the attractive women that that, that yeah. <laughs> went through. That, that was the saving. Everybody loves Raymond. Was like, oh, your parents are annoying. We get it. That's like the theme yeah. of every. And Ray sucked in his own way. Yeah, but like you know, uh, two years ago, Emma binge watched all of Friends. That's like, what there's I'm a whole saying. generation catching up. Whether you like the show or not, they're That's getting what I'm recycled. Saying. We, we we are we are wrong because society says just because everybody likes something, I mean, they're right. But they're not binging. All these other shows, like Everybody Loves Raymond, all that crap. It's like you Seinfeld like the, and Friends keep coming back. Yeah, but you know what? Like the kids love now is The Office, and that was a great show. That's like that I is super. That. Yeah. That's being binged hardcore. I binged that uh, English version of it right at the beginning of the pandemic, and nice. I was blown away that like the first three episodes are basically the first three episodes of Our Friend uh-huh. or Our Office, yeah. like verbatim. Okay. Oh wow. It's really really weird when you see that unfold, and I was like, "Hold on, am I gonna just am I just rewatching the?" Op-? And then by episode <laughs> four, it, it turns. Well, in that season, in in that version, like just two seasons long or something weird, like it wasn't very long. Yeah, British television doesn't capitalize on that stuff. They have a beginning and an end. Yeah. Even if it gets popular, they stick with the beginning and the end. I like end. when shows do that. I like when they don't wait till it peters out. Well, the worst is when you're really into a show, and then all of a sudden they like it gets Season cut. Nine. So they have to like force it, or they oh, don't yeah, even know yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah, get yeah. cut. Like Last Man on Earth, I'm one of the weirdos yes, that loved I, that show. You got me in the show, and I loved it. Loved that show. I saw the and first it just two seasons. ended on a cliffhanger. Dude, a huge cliffhanger. I was like, damn. I did well, was find that out three seasons in? I did find out how it, how it ended, Or four. Because who's oh, yeah, the main- I read an article. Who's the main character? What's his name? Uh, the real name, not Tandy. What's his real is name? It, is it Will? Will Forte? Will Forte. Oh. Yeah. So oh, the actor. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, his, his I thought you were talking the, about the main lead. I was like, I haven't seen it. Oh, his wow. name's Tandy. That's him. It's Will Forte. <laughs> okay. But so I saw an interview with him, and he described how it ended. So if anybody out there was a last last man on earth, or then I can I can I'm not spoiling it because it never yeah, yeah. happened, and it's not coming back. But he was the one who was writing the show, and he said that the whole shtick was that those people that pop up, they're all the ones in the suits. And for those that don't know, basically coronavirus showed up on Earth. And it wiped everybody out, but, yeah. but he lived. And this was before coronavirus. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which but, was awesome. But strangely, that's like basically a, yeah. a hardcore coronavirus shows up. Yeah. Wipes out the earth, and he's the only person who lived, he thinks. Yeah. And so he's just living The life. first episode was, I mean, the first few episodes were awesome because it's literally him just wandering through cities. And he's an immature yeah. dumbass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's just like smashing shit, like driving cars into things, like. Oh, I need I need some food. I'm gonna drive my car to the entrance to this grocery store and just yeah. And he go. just travels <laughs> yeah. across the country destroying <laughs> yeah. stuff. But then eventually he finds a couple other people. They end up yeah. having like a small crew, yeah. right? That somehow were immune naturally. Yeah, certain people were immune to it. Apparently, like a dozen of them. <laughs> so <laughs> their task or with, like his brother who was in space who was in space didn't get it. <laughs> it's a whole nother <laughs> thing. But so apparently don't, get, don't give it away. <laughs> At the very end, uh, a bunch of people in like hazmat suits pop up out of the ground because they had they had all hunkered down. They must have been the elite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had their hazmat suits popping up out of the ground, and sure enough, they find like the twelve people who are alive. And so that's the cliffhanger you're left on. Like, oh shit, there's a whole society that's been living underground. Yeah, and you're like, next season's mm. gonna be awesome. And then they're like, oh, we're not doing it. Well, it turns out that the whole the whole next season was supposed to be the final season, and basically what happens is. They like work with these people in the hazmat suits, and they they end up rebuilding like some semblance of society. And Tandy convinces them that none of us got sick. Yeah, like, obviously we're good. There, this disease is gone. Yeah, you don't have to wear the suits. And everyone takes off their suits, and like you get another episode or two where they're hanging out. And then the first person starts coughing. Oh, no. <laughs> and then it wipes out the entire civilization <laughs> that's left there. And then it's back to the same 12 same assholes. 12 guys. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's how it was supposed to end. So there you go. I have revealed how it ended. I'm sure we missed a lot of hilarious jokes oh, over the course of 13 episodes. <laughs> I but would say go watch it. Go binge watch it if, it, if it's out there somewhere. It's especially really after. Yeah. All that we've all been through in the last year. Because you could have seen. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah, because I think when it came out, it was like. 
it was like the year 2019 or 2020. Like, they almost got it right on the nose. Like, episode yeah. one was like year 2020 or something. Yeah. It was it, it was a pretty wild, pretty wild show, but unfortunately it didn't uh, it didn't work. I Dude, wish it had. A- speaking of the whole coronavirus, we've been talking about like some of the incentives states are giving. Oh, I see. There, there are two more incentives that we didn't get to last week because we got sidetracked. <laughs> I was trying to get to a point, <laughs> and I went back and I we listened got to the sidetrack. It That's was weird. Like us, I li- I went back and listened to the episode, and I was like, oh, this is where I was trying to make the point about West Virginia. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they had a whole thing going on. West Virginia knows its people. They are literally anybody between the ages of 26 and 35 that they're trying to get to uh, to get the vaccine. If you do, you get entered into a lottery. If you're between 26 and 35, you get the vaccine. You entered into a lottery. Lottery for? What do you think a West Virginian would covet? Um, satellite dishes, moonshine. Teeth. Dental. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Don't worry, I can sell insurance. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're literally giving out money, uh, money, guns, and trucks. There you go. That's what they're yeah. giving up. They have five custom-made hunting rifles. Nice, like, like beautiful hunting rifles. Five custom-made hunting rifles. Five custom-made jacked-up trucks. Nice. I and mean, and then one person who gets a million dollars. Hell yeah, that's a good lottery. That's not bad. Yeah. Eleven people are going out, yeah. and 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 you get to live. <laughs> well, you're you're <laughs> potentially so potentially. you're you're entered into all of that, but if you do get vaccinated between sixteen and thirty five, you're given you're automatically given a hundred dollars. Yeah, you get a hundred bucks, a hundred dollar gift card, Visa, what? or a hundred dollar U.S. bond. That shows you how much they do not want to get vaccinated in West Virginia. No shit, they're probably like 1% vaccinated. Yeah. If they just put that shit in Mountain Dew, they'd all be vaccinated by Tuesday. You're going to do like they did in, uh, <laughs> put it in Mountain Dew, do like they did in the Wild <laughs> Wonderful Whites of West Virginia. The guy shakes the uh, pill bottle. The Percocets. Says, yeah. yeah, he says that's the West Virginia mating call. That's right. Oh, yeah. They should just give out a, 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 a bottle of pills. Well, see, West Virginia can do that because – they're saying that it's only about 588,000 people that haven't got the vaccine for the state that they're targeting. How many people are in the state? That's a good question. Well, there's 588,000 potential, so I mean, yeah. you're, only, you're only giving up so much. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty interesting, but then I saw Washington State. They went down a different direction. They got to be here. giving out grass, right, or heroin, because can't you do anything now in Washington? No, that's Portland. Portland, okay. No. 1.7 in West Virginia, so basically a third of the state's unvaccinated. Third of eligible people. Well, that's a pretty good ratio. They're kicking it. Like, what the hell? Well, Two. if there's 1.7 million, then not all those people are eligible for vaccination anyway. Like, 12 and under is not True. getting it. So, right. to back them out. But so, Washington State officially has is now shipping vaccinations to dispensaries marijuana dispensaries nice. that want it yeah and if you get your vaccination you get a free joint they're calling they're calling the the program joints for jabs yeah but what's a joint worth Shh. in washington like who knows three dollars could you imagine though you're getting your vaccine in a dispensary like yeah, I that is I a really yeah, i don't think i'd sign up for that you know that's like essentially going to the abc store to get a shot yeah that didn't check out Ooh, shots for shots <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Well, if you're in Washington and listening, hurry up because it runs out July 12th. July, July 10th, I thought. Well, 12th. Way, I, I, <laughs> he's pretty, got the internet. It is pretty crazy, and they haven't done it since COVID, but it is pretty crazy when you go to the ABC store locally. I don't know if they do it everywhere, but Virginia ABC, and they give like tasters out. And I'm like, I mean, I, I know we all go out to dinner and have a couple drinks, but like it does feel weird like just drinking a half shot of liquor while you're buying liquor it feels like i really have a problem i had that happen to me one day i had my my wife had sent me out to pick up something from the liquor store and she's like she's like so we can make these drinks and i was like i'm not drinking today like i was like it's just i'm not i'm not doing it taking the day off did that flicker just ruin the uh i think we're good we're still recording still (laughs) that's good so i walked in power bill has been paid they had this like (laughs) They had this buxom blonde standing there uh, with like with like scotch. And I was like, damn it. I walk uh, in oh, and I told my wife, I'm not drinking today, so I'll get I'll get what you need. And I walk in 
And she's like, would you like to try all these different uh, Johnny Walkers? And I'm like, all of them are just one. There was three different kinds of Johnny <laughs> yeah. in there. And I was like, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I was like, okay, like, let me, let let me, me try. try them. By the time I got home, I was like, well, honey, good news. I'm drinking today. <laughs> We're good to go. And I bought a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue. Yeah. Oh, real quick, I was going to tell you, one of your other four home states, Arizona, is also doing it. Joints for jabs? Yeah. What is going on? And they're on? including edibles. And that's a stipulation in, in Washington. You cannot exchange it for anything else. It has to be a pre-rolled joint. Very weird. Interesting. I did that at the ABC store once where the I walked in and the Dynamite 10 Kettle 1 chick was there. You know, and she was good. Like she was personable. She was like hard. Selling. Oh yeah, that's the thing. If you're if you're attractive and just hanging out, yeah, it does it does no, no harm to me. Oh yeah. But when like you lock eyes and yeah. go, hey, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but isn't that felt? I'd say that's relatively recent in the last ten years because I can remember going like ABC would never. You walk into ABC and get free shots. I, I or tastings. I, I, I don't I, remember. I don't know when that started. But anyway, the point of my story was I ended up buying a shitty bottle of botanical kettle <laughs> <Ooh, one> vodka. <laughs> oh, you didn't get the Dr. Stoner's? Tasted like pure plant-based crap. Oh, that's my. I got Dr. Stoner's once. I've had on that. that. My sister's it's bought me that before. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you mix it with, but it's a yeah. good shoot. You yeah. Know? But you yeah. can pour it over ice. It's pretty good straight up. I, I, I know this girl. She was uh, she's like really tall, right? Yeah. So she's like a, she's like a big and tall model. And she went in looking for work one day to the modeling agency, and they were like, oh, yeah, well, ABC store's looking. That's how they were. They were pulling them out of modeling places. Modeling yeah. agencies wow. is literally where they were. That's where they're getting None their None of the talent. employees. That's not how but they so get wait, their wait, employees. I wonder if it's, no. <laughs> it's not the ABC store, though, employing them. It's well, probably no, whatever it's the, the liquor yeah, distributor. Yeah, whatever the, yeah. Yeah, it's the distributors. But then they're like, okay, well, we yeah. want you to go do. You're going you're gonna to push this booze. Then you're going to push this booze. Is that the Farm League for medical and pharmaceutical sales? <laughs> probably <laughs> probably yeah. probably every, i know when i worked out the hospital every just dynamite chick you saw walking around was in pharmaceutical sales or medical sales like i had a job once where i was the marketing director for physical therapy centers uh -huh. and it's the same it's the same thing yeah because you go 98 percent of your doctors are male yeah you go talk up the doctors to be yeah. like hey send your patients to x physical therapy yeah. center that was basically my gig well, I was competing <laughs> with like <laughs> just gorgeous, gorgeous women. Yeah. And, like, like I can go in there with the best pitch in the world. Yeah. But that's a superficial rich guy who's got an ego. Yep. And he's like, boy, that that Brendan really knows his stuff. Yeah. But that Karen is a dime. <laughs> and, like, I had the hardest time, so I pivoted. Though she touched my arm. I was gonna say, did you make a list of all the female doctors? No. Oh. I, I pivoted. I stopped talking to the doctors. Started talking to the front desk nurses. That's right. Yeah. I spent all my time talking to the nurses because you know who actually gives a shit about the oh, patients? Yeah. More so than the doctors. The nurses. Yeah. Right. And you know who actually tells them where to go? The nurses. Yeah. The doctor goes, you need physical therapy. And then walks away. The nurse goes, you should go to X, and who's Y, the, And who's the doctor sleeping with? The nurses. And the <laughs> pharmaceutical people. And all. Whoever but like, he wants. It was the doctor. only way for me to actually like get to talk about like. You know, the stuff that mattered. Yeah. We have this yeah. equipment. We're trained in this. We can do this. The nurses were like, oh, that's actually really helpful to know. That's like, where the whole, you. like, level playing field doesn't doesn't add up to me. It's like there's no such thing as a level playing field. As long as there's dimes out there and us fives have to get by, like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> right. like, I could be the best at whatever job I ever did, but. Chances are, if there's a dime piece doing it, male or female or whatever, like, good luck. Yeah, you can only be but yeah. so intelligent and charming. Yeah. And then if the person in power is attracted to someone else, yeah, it's over. Especially in the sales world. Yeah. I mean, that's... There's equality to get the job and to have the job, yes. but what the results are is not equitable. No. Yeah. It's uh, very difficult out there. It just blew my own brain. <laughs> <laughs> that must have taken a lot. Did you see his eyes gloss uh, over while he saw me? <laughs> like we lost him for a second. Yeah. yeah. Like what is happening? Like <laughs> it's like Will Ferrell in old school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shakes out of it. He's like, what happened? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> Where am I? I didn't make a point, did I? <laughs> oh shit! I made a point. Uh, oh. 
classics? Are we, are we close we, enough? Did we reach it? Did we get close there? Close enough. Well, I looked down and like <laughs> my drink's empty. We're at 35 minutes. Oh, uh, is it deli time? I'm going to take a deli because I still got deli break. Five <clears throat> topics going on over here. Things are looking good. So where'd you, where'd you oh, pick it's up? This, it's this Sierra Nevada one. Yeah. Oh, oh the Terrapin. Yes. He'll go. <laughs> That's what, Okay. <laughs> Brennan was getting ready to throw us a curveball there, Troy. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't see that one in here. I bought this six pack as a beer that I was just going to drink. Oh, okay, okay. And I bought this on for the 420 episode. Ah, do you know? Or, or do this before? Then? No, no, no. It's mm-hmm. past that. Oh, we, wait, wait. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, but I bought it like the week of 420. I bought another beer that we were going to drink, and then I was like, Haha, "That's a funny name. I'm just going to drink that." So and this so has it, been in the fridge for a couple months. Yeah, so it should be cold. Nice, good. <laughs> so this is the this is the Terrapin High and Hazy IPA, out of Athens, Georgia. Which, you know, I haven't had a beer in a while yeah. because I'm trying to do this seltzer thing. I'm trying to shed weight like Troy over there. Dude just drops pounds by drinking seltzers. It's amazing. I just stay in shape. The, well, the that's one way to do yeah. it too, but that's not my mo. Hmm. So I got this Terrapin. Not all of us hire personal trainers. Hey, so I've been hey, dying hey, hey. to try this forever. <laughs> so I'm you know what color can this is? Uh, blue. It is. It's Ooh. a real, elec- it's like a light electric blue. I knew the answer had to be green or blue because it's high and hazy. And it's got yellow. That's the top's yellow. like a. I would have said that's probably the green. It's an orangey yellow. Mm. The Terrapin's in green. Yep. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. The, hop, the hops are green. Yeah, that's what they tell me. <laughs> Do you and, wanna, and on the top it says, you want to take the read? Kiss the sky. Trying to help a brother out. Oh, it's going to be impossible to read. I'm oh, excited can, about dude, this, though. I cannot read that. Let me get I the haven't box. had a good IPA ever since I started. I haven't had this? a good IPA. Oh, I see <laughs> what you did there. But this, this may be it, Troy. This is the high and hazy. You tend to like the hazies. You tend to rank them a little bit better than uh, than some of the others. So we shall see, see if I can read this. It's even hard to read off the box. Soft, juicy, hazy, drinkable, bitterless, fruity, mango, delicious, pillowy, luscious, hoppy, chewy, it's just grapefruit, a cloudy. List of adjectives? Yeah. Cloudy, dank, fluffy, sticky, foggy, pungent, <laughs> kiwi, citrus, fresh, pithy, bright, jam, orange, groovy, red, yummy, nectar, cushy, guava, tropical, smooth, tasty, enjoyable, done. Is that everything they make or that one beer? You could literally just pick any word from there and do that. So what it says, it says high and hazy, and then it says that's the definition of hazy, Uh, which I'm pretty sure, or that's the definition of high and hazy, which I don't think it is. So on their website. No, it's more adjectives? No, it's the (laughs) little write-up. High and hazy IPA is loaded with four varieties of tropical and citrus forward hops, the soft and silky smooth mouthfeel is obtained by using copious mm, amounts of wheat and flaked oats, feel. while the laid-back bitterness is achieved by the addition of hops at the very last minute. We're sitting 5.8, and uh, we got Citra, Simo, Simcoe, Idaho 7, and Dry Hop Citra. Idaho and 7. I can't. <laughs> two Doesn't that malt. sound yeah, like, like sounds, weed? That sounds like, <laughs> man, I got some Idaho 7, bro. It also sounds like, <laughs> meh. I can see, I can hear the marketing pitch now. Like, mm. if we put all the adjectives on there, somebody will find one of them, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> finally, pithy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Yeah. We haven't used that in all our years of uh, describing beers. No, now we can add that to the repertoire. I do not like this because they didn't say crushable. That's why I do <laughs> like it. Yeah. <laughs> no. And pithy, that's like the part of the orange peel you don't want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's interesting. But hey, good on them. They used them all. Got a nice citrus uh, nose on it. Damn. Yeah. No. This is uh, this is very interesting. It's it's got a lot of hop going on. Like that's an IPA, but it doesn't end super bittery. No, it doesn't. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, I could. I'm off the wagon. All I want is to drink Uh, beer now. Yeah. (laughs) All these seltzers suck. I don't know how you guys do it. Like it's honestly been like pulling teeth for me. Yeah, you get used to it. I assume you do yeah. over time, but just this one taste. I did drink like well, 20 beers this past Saturday for the first time. Like That was the first time I'd like drank a bunch of beer. 
What's going on here? Yeah, they, uh, <laughs> Tonight yeah, is hot. The, 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 the lighting light effects. just flick, flicker. <laughs> Seriously, none of the TVs are working. Power's flickering. Yeah. Power's flickering. Lights are going on and off. You guys got like a Ouija board or something? <laughs> We're drinking high and Bird's hazy. Birds' heads are falling <laughs> off. Yeah, I mean, this is a yeah. little... Tonight's a little odd, yet it still seems to be recording. Screws fall Fingers out all the crossed. time. The world's an imperfect place. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Well, <clears throat> Stu, drink a couple more of them sips of that high and hazy. Yes. you got to come up with a... Uh, you got to have an opinion here. Mm-hmm. So I know so you love the market. Is Terrapin... Terrapin's not the one that does all the weed fl- weed names and flavors, are they? No, that's Sweetwater. Or, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Sweetwater. Is it Sweetwater? Ford. Yeah, they do the, the yeah. 420. And then they're the ones who came out with the G13 and all of yeah. that. They're the <laughs> ones who I made the, the tap that you guys made fun of me for for so long. They right. do make the Up High IPA. They do make the Luau Crunkles IPA. Which is funny because they're both out of Georgia. <laughs> yeah. A state that is uh, the last one to ever legalize oh, marijuana. Yeah. So yeah. very interesting. Well, well they do have a Georgia dream sickle. It is kind of popular now, like. With the IPAs, I guess, because the hops is kind of not far off the... It's in the family. Family. And I guess they all kind of have that weed taste smell to them. Yeah. This one isn't that bad, though. This isn't overpowering. But you can... It definitely has hops, but it's a clean finishing hops. Uh, I, yeah, I'm... I don't want to bury the lead. I'm going to try to let... So... Uh, go ahead. Um, all right. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this marketing is terrible. Oh, the coloring is way too busy. You can't see the hops that they're trying to put and promote out there. You can't uh, hardly read the damn can. I mean, it's just there's just it's so busy you lose exactly what I mean, you're you can barely see the name of the beer on it. I mean, something yeah. on here says it's all lost on me, man. Kiss the sky on yeah. the top lip. The Jimi Hendrix yeah, reference. I mean, I, I get that part, but you should. <clears throat> they should. <laughs> you were 42 when that album came out. <laughs> <laughs> you were there. <laughs> Jimmy's a good guy. Don't knock him. <laughs> <laughs> I sold Jimmy his first car. <laughs> yeah. Um, so so he's like, you mean James? Yeah, we go back. <laughs> yeah. He's like, good kid. Yeah, good yeah. kid. <laughs> <laughs> tragic story. Tragic story. <laughs> Never seen so much potential. I tried to tell him. Uh, he was my paper boy for he, the longest time. He wouldn't listen. It was my idea to flip the guitar over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so I, Troy kind of lingered, I mean, lingered, mentioned it, um, but the smell, I like the aroma. I like the way it comes out of the can. It's not, you can definitely tell it's an IPA, but some of those ones you smell right out of the can, it just kills you, at least for me, and I, I wouldn't dig that, but this is a, I like the aroma. It doesn't finish harsh. It doesn't coat the top of my mouth, but I'm still not digging the entire flavor, um, because okay, okay. maybe it is due to the citra that's in there. But overall, for me, this is a two and a half. Oh, okay. I'm going to, because I like the aroma. I like the way it finishes. I'm not big on the flavor. The marketing is, they tried. So I'm going to give it two and a half. Okay. Okay. So this beer smells delicious. It tastes really good. It finishes very nicely and clean. For a beer, this is a three. It's just above average for me as a, as an IPA, I would score three and a half to a four. It's one of the more palatable IPAs for me because it doesn't have that. As if you're a listener, you've heard me talk of that mouth funk where it's like, I feel like I need to. This has good mouthfeel. Said on the box. Yeah, it does. Uh, <laughs> if it says it, must be true, right? Exactly. Well, it also said everything. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> juicy. Yeah, citrusy. Um, it doesn't get it doesn't give me that funky breath. Uh, aftertaste coats my mouth. This is. So, I mean, I, this is hard for me to score. Like, I wouldn't go searching for it because I'm not an IPA person. But if I'm going to, you know, do I score as a three for the overall or like three and a half to four for an IPA? I'll just go down the middle and go three and a half. Yeah. I'm, I actually, I love this beer. I think this is awesome. But it, it, I'm also worried that I'm, I'm tainted because I've been drinking cherry seltzers for so yeah, long, yeah, yeah. you know, like. That this a, is, I'm like, oh my gosh, we're back, you know. Got a mouthful. Well, but if, of if anything, flavor. it gives you more in depth, like um, on the flavor. 
Well, yeah, what I like about this is I, I'm a big citra hop guy, and I can taste the citra hop, but it's not over the top. No. Like, it's not overly citrusy, but Understated. there's just enough that I know it's citrusy, which I dig. Yeah. The juicy or the hazy, it's not a super hazy no, beer. They're kind of full of shit on that one. It's more high than hazy. But I really like the flavor of this. I would absolutely buy this again for, like, my, my hop heads out, that are out there because it's a really balanced overly hoppy beer and i think they did a really good job here if you're going to go over the top you want to go over the top correct and this yeah, yeah. this does it They're, like to your point to both of your points the the mouth linger isn't bad it's not it's not too much there yeah because i like the i like a hate like i've liked hazies yeah you do that seems to be not, what you're, but it's not it's, it's less hazy than than they they promote it as yeah but i love this beer. yeah but if you poured this out it wouldn't be hazy looking no, it's not, but it's it's still juicy enough that I get where they're going for. I love this beer. Not enough for me to put it in the four range. Is hazy IPA fucked out? Is that just like, I feel like every other one's a, a hazy. IPA's fucked out. Yeah, well, so that's I mean, for damn yeah. sure. <laughs> it's all that fucked is. out. But, but for me, it's a three and a half. I'm going to go with Troy, so this is going to end up with like a 3.25 yeah. somewhere yeah. in there. I like this beer, though. I would buy this again whenever I get back to, to drinking beer. I mean, I was pretty excited when I first smelled it. Like, literally, you, you said it, Troy, and I was like, oh, this actually might change my if mind. If you like but IPAs, you're going to love this beer. Yeah, it's a well done. I guarantee done, it. It's, I think that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a well done IPA. Yeah, it is. It's a really good beer. But yeah. with all the other beers that are out there, for me, it's a three and a half. Yeah. But it's, I literally thought about it for a minute. Is this a four? Mm-hmm. Is this a three and a half? Mm. And I came back to three and a half only because there's a slight grassy taste yeah. that I get right at the end. It actually doesn't bother me, though. Like, it's no. actually kind of different, and I dig it. But because of that, I was like, I'm going to go three and a half. I would like a, a, just a tiny bit more citrus, because I love citrus. So, yeah. to me, you can never have enough citrus. Like, I maybe, tend to agree. Maybe so, throw an orange in there. That'd be pretty damn so good. So, is the grass the uh, flaked oats? Sure, that would add up. Didn't know it had flaked oats, but that would kind of be that. It's got everything in it, I guess. Yep. Nutty, grassy. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. Dude, mm. I saw that turtle light flick out. How you are know, they doing? The turtle. Was, we haven't talked about this on the air. The, we have turtles again. Yeah. Finally. So, there's and, and, you know, it's funny. I ran into. Um, do we need to do the backstory on the turtles for those that don't know? Mm. I think everyone knows, but. but I, I it's know, been a so minute. Originally, when we when we first opened up the old, what we called the man room at the time. Yeah. One of my, I had a fish tank with nothing in it, and right. one of my buddies caught a turtle. Well, he didn't catch a turtle. He caught a bass that had a, had a turtle lodged in the back of its throat, and he caught it on the day before Easter, and he threw it inside a Gatorade bottle because it was so small. It fit in the mouth, and he was like, hey, man, I got something for your tank. I'm coming over. I was like, sweet. So he brought it over and dropped it off, so we named the turtle Jonah because right. he was found in the belly of the whale. The day before Easter, I just felt like biblical was the way to go. Checks out. It all adds up. So, tur- Jonah died, unfortunately. Well, don't yeah. skip past uh, squints. 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 Yeah. So, we had squints for a while because Troy found that turtle. In my pool. In a pool, just like squints when he dove in in the sandlot. Yeah. Wendy yeah. Peppercorn had to save and He him. was tiny, but he got huge. All of a sudden, that dude got yeah. massive. Like, all of a sudden, he could barely swim around the tank. And, and he all he did was his shit. beat I was up say, He Jonah. was the one that was always chasing everybody. Which now leads, I, I think Jonah probably lost 10 years off his life in that year yeah. when Squints was huge. So eventually, we released Squints back into the wild. Yeah. And Jonah just, uh, one day he came out of the tank, and I think he just hit himself too hard. I put him back in, he lived for like another day, and then he just... He would do that every now and then. He'd climb out of the tank and cl- and just wander around the pallet house. Every mating season, he would jump out of here yeah. like, I got to go find somebody. Yeah. I got to <laughs> get the poison out. Behind, <laughs> behind that couch, I know my dream lover's back there. That's right. He knew it. You <laughs> yeah. could just see it. Yeah. Like she's living in the leather. Jumping yeah. for love. So for months, <laughs> That's I did a good four foot four, drop. Four and a half feet. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't go well. Yeah. But he'd done it a dozen times, so I'd started. Yeah. I'd kind of been desensitized to it, you know. Like, I didn't think it was going to. Guess kill he him. lost a step, couldn't get his head tucked back in before he hit the. <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? So I, I ended up getting some new turtles, and I'm pretty excited about yeah. it because I I love 
I love it's a turtle turtles. tank. Yeah, it's a turtle tank. The fish are secondary in that tank. And I found a place online that will sell you turtles, which I thought that turtles had been outlawed in the 70s because kids were getting salmonella from them because turtles are... Because they ate them? They're just, they're just rife with salmonella. I did they're not just, know that. Baby turtles in particular are even worse. Like, they just... Huh. When they swim around in a tank, they just... When get I guess a kid wants to handle a turtle. A kid yeah. picks it up, yeah. he plays with it, Licks puts it fingers. back in the tank, sticks his fingers in his mouth yeah. or her fingers in her mouth, and then, you know... Or their fingers. Don't assume, dude. Mm. Troy, thank you. Yeah, I'm just... We're learning. My you guys apologies. buried Lee because I was going to tell you about my getting sick this past weekend. Oh, I thought you were gonna thought you were gonna officially change your pronoun. You had yeah, that that makes more sense. I was licking turtles all yeah. it's Friday. I didn't know you had salmonella poison. But so uh we'll get there, Stu. We'll get there. Yeah. This is see that right there, you just you jumped in. That's a lead. Brendan's oh, driving. No, he knows where he's going. That's a lead. Sit in the back seat. But uh so I ended up you you can't get turtles anymore because kids were getting sick in the seventies. Yeah. So now you can't buy turtles in, in pet stores. They used to just be Prevalent in pet oh, stores. Oh, that's why you don't see them anymore, so, huh? Yeah. You can get tortoises. Yeah. Well, you can't get your typical, like, water turtle. Aquatic you can get box tor- turtles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, just yeah. can't get the water turtles because they're the ones that just, the salmonella, I guess. My sister used to have an African hingeback turtle. That's badass I think turtle. it was hingeback. It was beautiful. And it lived in, she had a she had a little rental house about the size of the pallet house. And it just lived in the house. And it just it had a little area with water in it. Like, you know, shallow water. Yeah. And it could have a little spot it go poo and pee and eat and get in the water, and then it just wander around her place. It was That's cool awesome. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd be down with that. I'm a big turtle guy. Well, when she moved out, I I was going to take it and let it live in my backyard because we got the fenced-in backyard. I was going to, like, figure a way out, but she found somebody else to uh, take Yeah, you it. just got to get heat in the winter, like, yeah. like legit Yeah, I would have built a turtle house or something. Yeah, it's like a little dog house with a yeah. big lamp in it. Yeah. That gets you through. So where'd you get these guys from? So well, the obvious place, MyTurtleStore.com, which doesn't make any sense to me because you're not allowed to get turtles. So I'm like, how do they So do that law is still a thing. That law is still a thing. Turns out that MyTurtleStore.com only sends turtles to people who are doing scientific research. Ah, research facilities. Research facilities, yeah. scientists. That's you know, us. The people of a certain ilk. Did, did you put that we were solving first world problems and that's why we needed two turtles? You literally, somewhere in the terms and conditions, <laughs> you are just acknowledging that you're a research facility. Yeah. And that's all the check they need and they're checking a box. So I'm like, all right. Yeah. I'm a research facility. <laughs> but they don't actually like, like check you or for anything. They don't. They don't. What? They don't. Yeah. Very what? odd. What? You know, it's it's like your Apple terms and conditions. You're just you're in. Two guys in uh, black suits didn't show up to vet you. <laughs> yeah, we'd like to see what kind of research yeah. you're doing. Oh, I'd like to see um, if I can keep them alive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm over two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, no, I'm not. I'm over yeah. three. Oh, it- my first turtle's name was John Glenn. Okay. Okay. Because I was a big Right Stuff fan when I was yeah. a little kid. And so I had gotten a turtle, a box turtle named John Glenn when I was a little kid. And I kept him in the yard in Chicago in a, in a little fenced in little garden tin. area. Yeah. And every day I'd go outside and I would, I would hunt for worms and I would feed him worms and he would eat all like the, the plant life yeah, that yeah, was yeah. in there. Dude was happy as shit. And then one day he was gone. Like, like literally gone? Gone. Like somehow. Broke out? He either broke out or. Bird than, got him. More than uh. likely buried himself. Because he uh, felt yeah. like it was getting pretty cold. I didn't know this. I literally had flyers oh, no. uh, around the neighborhood. <laughs> like, Help me find John Missing Glenn. turtle. I went door to door, and I was like, do you guys see, like, a, um, a turtle? <laughs> 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 like, I'm, like, I'm, like, in the inner city. I'm, like, looking for a turtle. Oh, my it's God. November in Chicago. <laughs> and one neighbor, one neighbor gave me false hope. She was like. I saw him. He took my wallet and ran that way. <laughs> But she was like, she was like, I heard something rustling around over here earlier. Maybe that was your turtle. 
Dude, I spent the next six hours in that woman's yard. Oh, my God. Like, just looking for John Glenn. Like it wasn't a rat or a raccoon yeah, or something. Yeah, it could have been any <laughs> number of things, you know, Possum. but I was like. Because turtles move at such a speed, they make they, rattle yeah, noises. Yeah, they rustle things. <laughs> yeah, but it was the only lead I had. <laughs> yeah. And for a little kid looking for a lead. You I was, followed that lead. I followed that lead to the end. I never found John Glenn. Mm. And we, And to be honest, we don't know if uh, Squint's dad or not we put him back in the in the pond at, in the neighborhood so he i'd might, like to believe Squint's he lived. might still be living i agree i like to believe Squint's he lived. was pretty damn aggressive i don't think he would have any problem figuring out where to get his own food yeah no i think if anything he, he went in there started a lot of fish. kicking <laughs> other people's asses you know like we'd raised a killer yeah like releasing a ufc guy out into the <laughs> yeah, wild yeah. you know like he's gonna be just fine see if you can make it out there yeah good luck <laughs> But, yeah, so I got these new turtles because I'm a scientist, yeah. which is pretty exciting. So I've got a, uh, I've got a razorback musk turtle, which hangs out at the bottom, and then I've got a map turtle, which hangs out, swims around map, at the top. Map, M-A-P? Yeah. And I don't know what to name them yet, but I've decided on the, the little guy that's always at the bottom, the, the razorback musk turtle. Uh-huh. That just is always crawling around the bottom and doesn't seem to give a shit about anything. That one's name is Tempo. Tempo. Yeah. Okay. Because slow and low. Yeah. That is the tempo. That is the tempo. So that's Tempo. The other one doesn't get a name yet. Okay. Hmm. He's pretty cool. I don't know what his name is, but so there we go. We have turtles again. Good. Good work. But it made me think of it, it because feels right because the lights were flickering, everything was yeah. going out in here, and I was like, oh snap. So but, so Tempo doesn't get up on the turtle shelf and warm under the uh No. Nope. Slow light. and low, man. That dude just chills. Now well, unfortunately the first I that's the second must, uh Razorback Musk Turtle. I got it? one and within a day that other one went up to the was not slow and low, was high and fast, went right out the top of the tank, and disappeared within oh, twenty four hours of getting that bitch. Which I'll tell you, shipping on a turtle to a research facility is by <laughs> far the most of the expenditure on that. So when you get two turtles, it doesn't hurt as much. But when you have to pay it again Dang. to get one turtle, how that little bastard get out? It's not like the water's to the edge of the damn tank. That did, well, I, I did have the water up. I noticed I'm keeping the water low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's called a learning moment. learning experience, <laughs> a learned. teachable yeah. moment. You see, uh, as a scientist, yeah. I you learned. wrote that down, right? I wrote it down. Yeah. I put it in the book. It's going to be in your paper later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My, Stay tuned. Brendan's dissertation on turtles. Don't put the water to the top. Done. The end. I have a hypothesis. They're Feed smarter them. than me. <laughs> hypothesis. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you named run the one crawl dad in there? Oh, yeah. That's Sheriff. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he runs the show. Electric blue crawl dad. Mm. Well, I just, if the turtles get too big, he may not be around much longer. Nah, dude. He Even squints he, couldn't kill him. <laughs> yeah, like that's a that, that thing's. He awesome. knows how to lay back in the cut. Yeah, the kid's named Sheriff. Sheriff's right. cool. Sheriff's cool. If, anytime you get a giant crawfish with big old claws, walks around intimidating stuff. You know, it's a sheriff. He actually comes out now because the turtles are little, and he's like, "Oh, I can come r- come out." And, yeah, he's you know. he's just like a sheriff, man. Like all all bluster, he's, no authority. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's a little faster than everybody. Yeah. But so, Stu, you got salmonella this week, or 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 or, 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 or I don't know if if it, maybe salmonella would have been better. I tell you, Stu, Stu hits us up, and he's Dude. like, he's like, hey, God, I think guys, I think I have uh, either food poisoning or COVID, and I'm like, boy, the signs of those two things are <laughs> not even like this. Two different. One starts with a cough. One starts with shitting in your pants. Dude, well, that's I'm, but I'm, that's not true. I'm up in I'm up in Gray's Point with eight other dads hanging out, like all in close proximity, and I get the message from Stu that I may have COVID. I'm like, well, this is going to be an awkward conversation Dude, to, to had my the friends same thing. I'm with. I'm yeah. literally sitting on a little boat with 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 a handful of people. Yeah. And I get Stu's text. It's like, <laughs> I either have COVID or food poisoning. And I'm like. And I'll know I, in like an hour. Yeah. And I was like, and I, I did turn to, to one of my buddies and was like, so my buddy just texted me this. And I was like, but if he's if he's in between these two things, like I, th- these don't have the same early symptoms. And then you said you were going to have test results in an hour. Yeah. And I was like, OK, that's good news. I think I'm going to hold. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's already humped. 
Yep. And then I checked yeah. my phone in an hour, and he's like, I'm negative. And I was like, oh. Yeah, I turned to, to Stash, the big redhead, who rode down there with me. I was like, just so got this you need Stu. to know this because yeah. you've been with and me And he's that. like, oh, that's great. And I was like, yeah. And I ended up not saying anything to anyone else. So luckily. you did the same yeah, thing yeah, I did. Yeah. You told the person closest to you, <laughs> yeah. like the person that had been in proximity. Not well, like, he was like. When did you? When were you around them last? And this is Saturday, dude. Two, two days ago. I'm two like days ago. <laughs> less than forty eight hours ago. Yeah, like right was, in the window. Yeah, why do you ask? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, because I, I mean, literally did some research, and that's why I went and got tested. Is because there are people because you either you can get the cough, you can get the headaches, you can have the um, intestinal like reaction. Dude, to the COVID. list of symptoms you texted out like it sounded like you were like. Almost that's exactly, dead. but like I had, that's, you, you were fatigued, you were, I had everything, down, the joint were, pain I had, I mean, it was just the worst. I mean, I, I went out on a Friday night. The fact that you dinner. said food poisoning at all though, as a possible, yeah. I go, he's shitting and puking. Like yeah. that's probably where we are. Or, or food poisoning would have never even hit your radar was, was my, that was my like internal dialogue for why I was like. I'm not going to tell everybody because we get an hour, yeah. but I also got off the boat <laughs> and like kind of stayed I'm, away from hey everybody. Gosh, I'm Sorry. Stay here yeah. Toss me a beer. I'm, I'm good to go. Don't come within six feet. It has nothing to do with COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it was, uh, it was just one of those things. Cause I, I went out to dinner and it hit me like I was fine. But it hit me like 4.30 the next morning and for 24 hours straight, it was the worst joint pain, uh, headaches, um, just liquid, you know, complete dehydration of my entire body. So you were like, evacuating. I was evacuating everything. So then I reached out to a couple of people and that were in the know. When Coughed it came to on them. Some of the COVID stuff. <laughs> Come here. And Let me talk to you. <laughs> Let me tell you a secret. Get real close. <laughs> yeah. I was 100% leaning towards, you know, this is food poisoning or something or norovirus or something that is just like gut, gutted. You do me. not want norovirus. Right. Food poisoning passes quickly yeah. and sucks. It's got awful. But norovirus takes it to another level. So, But when I reached out, I mean, I've there are people who have experienced exactly the beginnings of COVID with what I have. Well, fall back, this was Thursday we saw Stu. Two days later, he was texting us this. That Thursday was the day he got back after a four- or five-day trip yes. up to Jersey. So we're like, well, this is great. Like, yeah, Not that's only true. were they not yeah. wearing masks, but not tops. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, and Stu's been jet-setting around this whole time. Like, yeah, so I, I wasn't... Mean, Stu's gone on more vacations in the past years than I have in the past 10 years. But he's also been in more restaurants than any of us well, have that been too, in. Yeah. And those restaurants are trying to get rid of that shrimp they bought last year. <laughs> yeah. That they never sold. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> we got a deal on the shrimp. <laughs> Push the shrimp. <laughs> the guy at the end of the bar just keeps eating them. <laughs> Why are they gray? Oh, uh, it's a weird strand that uh, you can't find it anywhere. Yeah, it's Ecuadorian <laughs> shrimp. It's yeah. uh, really good. So good. Isn't that landlocked? Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> No, they have just, a fishery there. It's real top of the line. <laughs> it's like, really good. Yeah, I can't tell you any more about it. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see I don't wish that on anybody because it took me 24 hours to get over the sickness part and then about 36 hours to get rehydrated. I it, wish it on you for was, fucking texting us that shit on a Saturday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> That's rude. Well, <laughs> because I know where things had been in the past and – I wanted to follow up immediately with anything that I thought could have been a possibility. No, and I respect that. I so respect I just that. wish you waited an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, like find out the results. Be like, yeah. hey guys, I wasn't feeling good, so I got the test, and I do have it. Or I didn't, and th then you didn't even. I don't even know what I would have done mm, because yeah. I was literally in the middle of nowhere on a sandbar. Yeah, like, I had to get on a boat to go back. <laughs> like someone was going to have oh, to take yeah, me I back. Was, I mean, I was an hour and a half. Yeah. Half drunk in the bag, you know, like staying with eight other dudes for the night. Like I couldn't just jump in the car and leave. Like I'd already had yeah. six beers by but then. But you like, guys stay here. I'm going to quarantine on the boat. But yeah. to your point, though, you guys could have been. Um, <laughs> let's say it was a norovirus or another stomach flu. No, and and it, when you said norovirus, I was like, oh crap. And I kept waiting, like because that, it starts with uh, sweat. That's kind of going around. That can go around. You can pass oh, that around, like easily. That's the thing. Those cruise ships. Everybody like oh, one person yeah, has it, and everybody yeah. just. Completely evacuates. Yeah, yeah. If someone <laughs> gets norovirus on a cruise ship, 
fifty percent of that cruise ship is going down. Yeah, like it's it transfers. So if it would have happened, Brendan would have been left on an island shitting himself. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. <laughs> and I would have been ready for it. I would have been like, leave the water and go. <laughs> Avoid the brown water. <laughs> yeah, there would have been no anything, <laughs> nothing but. Yeah. Yeah, norovirus is violent. I had that once, and it just it started with like a drip of sweat, and someone was like, "You don't look so good," and I was like, "Funny, I don't feel so good." Yeah. Right? And then it's like, you know, it's bad when you don't look good, like when your whole like complexion changes and like yeah. your face changes and your and your posture changes yeah. and your body well, that's language like, changes. After I had that that the second vaccine yeah, shot, yeah, yeah. I remember Stu. He's like, "You don't look so good," and I'm like. It's not a nice thing to say to somebody because <laughs> yeah. I feel okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was an hour away from hitting a wall, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but I didn't see it. I wasn't yeah. looking at myself. Stu's so like, yo, dude, you look like a corpse. Yeah. <laughs> sure enough, I felt like a corpse about an hour later. Mm. I do have to say thank God for Pedialyte, the adult version, because I drank five. There's an adult version now? Well, Pedialyte used to be only for kids. It used to come in smaller bottles, clear, one, no flavors, and then they realized it cures hangovers. So if you go into a Walgreens or tar- anywhere in the grocery stores, you can get set like a fifth, 750 milliliters yeah. of either strawberry, grape. So you're telling me the right. flavorless ones for the kids and the strawberry and grape ones for the Grown-ups. adults? Yeah, yeah, that's that's what they, yeah you're out. right. But <laughs> usually PD lights used for infants. Too, yeah, because PD is in the name. But yeah, these things. He's drinking Petter Light. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, huh. I'd I don't rather, even know I'd, where to go with that. I'd one. rather I'd rather have the clear one, the tasteless one. Well, you're a big liquid I- IV guy, right? Yeah, that's what you drink for your hangovers. You, when you, I have them, I don't have them a lot because if isn't I, that supposed to be like four times the hydration or something? That's like that? what they three times. That's what they say. Yeah, but I mean, I, mean, I don't even. How, I assume it's like Pedialyte. So, yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what. So it is. you gave me the liquid IV that comes in like a. It's like a little yeah, pouch. So like you open it up. Like pack. And, and, yeah, you dump yeah. it in your drink and you you chug it. Yeah. And you can do that right when you wake up, or, or right before you go to bed. You, the, from what I, some, from what my friends have said, and I've done it, do it before you go to bed and when you wake up. Yeah, and it it, yeah. it works for you though, right? But it's also like, is the is the liquid IV working, or the fact that you're just forcing yourself to drink water working? As a as like, a guy who who drinks tons of water, that's all I drink all, the time, all day every day. Then I don't think it's just yeah. the water. I really don't because. So you think it works? I do because I tried your liquid IV one time and I was impressed. Yeah. I was like, I feel okay. Well, when I was down in, in Pinehurst a few weeks ago, the guy I was with, he had a bunch of uh, the Pedialyte in the same thing where you oh, dump they make it Pedialyte in. Pedialyte version? Yeah, where you, it, yeah, yeah, it looked yeah. exactly like your liquid IV yeah. too. You open them up, you dump it in. And so I tried that. I thought it might work better oh, wow. than the liquid IV. Makes so sense. I'm. They're well, probably just, not far off. I'm trying to figure out what's the best one. I also have something. It's like uh, it's called morning after. Yeah. Not Plan B. Like, <laughs> it's a different thing. And the morning after, I've tried that right before you go to bed, where you like, and it's like a, it's like a little. It looks like a five hour energy. Yeah. And it's thick, and it's just you chug that, there and was that one makes I you feel pretty good. There was one I used to have that was like, um, I forget the name of it, but it was like Alka Seltzers. Like it was too hard. You know, oh, things I you use, put in the water. I use alcohol And, cells and uh, you drank that, and it was, like, good for hangovers. I'd like to figure out which one's the best, but unfortunately, the only way to figure this out is to get a lot. hella drunk <laughs> and then chug something and then see how you feel. Well, to me, that there's so many variables, right? Like, every That's drunk's it. not the same drunk. Like, yeah. what'd you eat? What didn't you eat? You know, what'd you drink? What didn't you drink? Was it liquor? Was it beer? Was it wine? Was it a mixture of all three? Was it two of this? And You know, like, there's just so many. I think I need you to spend a, a, a normal weekend. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Right? Where, like, I drink the same amount pretty much on the weekends. It's pretty consistent, I would say. I mean, I I drank from 1 p.m. Saturday to 1 a.m. Sunday. Did you have some liquid IVs? I did. I had a bunch. And my wife had got me uh, a pack of the strawberries because it was on sale at Costco. Those were gross, but they do the job. So yeah. I, I, I woke yeah. up at eight and chugged one down, and so, I felt fine. But all I drank was beer for that twelve hours, so I wasn't. Liquor's I, the problem. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're saying it's two times. Like the average sports drink, like Gatorades, Pedialyte's going to give you two times the electrolyte sodium and almost three times the sugar. 
because that's what plus the water. Yeah, that's what's kicking it back I've in. Never, I have never bought into Gatorade. Like even I, as a even as a kid, when people would say, "Oh, the science says this," like when when I am thirsty and I'm dehydrated, you sound like a bench warmer. Water, <laughs> water is what I need. That's the only thing that makes me feel better. Gatorade does not make me feel better. I'll puke that shit up if I'm if I'm dehydrated. Yeah, I, I use the now the new Gatorade zeros and ha- and locale stuff. That tastes a lot. It's watered down, and I I'm like a big, that better. I'm a big lemon lime Gatorade guy. Like I stand by it. I know what I always like to do. I like to drink halfway down, fill Little it back water, up with water. Yep. That's always the move. So I like Pedi- I like Pedialyte for just in general rehydration. But the Alka Seltzer Cold Plus, that's what I'll take for the headache. Yeah, that has drugs in it, right? Like some it's acetaminophen aspirin, like or something. Aspirin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Aspirin. So, but that it's because of the I guess the form it gets in my. I'm it pretty gets lucky. I'm not a headache guy. Like I, I mean the amount of headaches I get a year. I mean, not even one. Like it. Like if I get a headache, I'm like concerned. Yeah, me because too. Because they're they're relatively. And I rare know a lot me. of people that get them all the time. But I get pop mad. Tylenol and all that stuff, and I'm like, that's gotta suck, man. I don't get yeah. me. I don't get me either. I'm talking about strictly hangover headache, like. Yeah, I don't I'm talking that. hangover or otherwise. I just uh, don't get headaches. I haven't had a uh, a Tylenol, an ibuprofen, or maybe I don't a have a head in probably like four years. Yeah, like I just don't like taking pills. Like I just, I'm just, I'm kind of anti. Yeah, I'm not a big taking over the counter type guy either. Well, what's the what's the one that uh, what's the one powder BC? Yeah, BC works. That's that well, was I, I try. I want you to try these Pedialyte things though, because on my little bit of scientific <laughs> experiment just from the long weekend i honestly felt the pedialyte like powder the powder yeah i'll try that i honestly felt like the powder might have been better than the liquid iv that's why i brought it up because i just yeah. I felt like it might have done better strange i'll try it my girlfriend swears by the liquid iv though she uses it all the time most people do yeah. but i feel like pedialyte is kind of played like pedialyte was the 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 first one on the sea where everyone was like hey OG. pedialyte works. that's og and yeah. then so they're like, no, liquid IV well, must was be a better. Because it was like, Psst, this is for kids yeah. who aren't feeling well. But if you crush this, it's good. Yeah. You even do? And Pedialyte even knows it because they, they, they have a commercial that they've been running lately. Yeah. Where the dad is sitting down by the fridge and he's like, and he's drinking the kid's Pedialyte. He's like, that's mine. And he's like, go to bed. I'll buy you a pony. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and I'm like, that's hilarious. That's a hangover <laughs> yeah, conversation. Exactly. He's like Jack Black in I will uh, s- School of Rock. I'm hungover. Does anybody know what that means? Yeah. <laughs> it means you're drunk. No, it means I was drunk yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to say, if you're drinking the Pedialyte as it comes at the, from the store, you got to be okay with a little bit more of a salty flavored drink. Yeah, and yeah. I'm not saying I, I and dug the, the powder. The powder's form. not going to have so it much of that. Good. It seemed good. It seemed to work. So I would love, because you, you have a good base of understanding. Yeah. I'd love for you to take a weekend and try the Pedialyte powdered and tell me if you think it's any better, no different, or worse. So the, the obviously the ultimate hangover cure is what has grown in the past few years. McDonald's cheeseburgers. Well, that, to me, mm. yeah, to me, the bacon, egg, and cheese is always the, <laughs> it's the go-to, dude. <laughs> but uh, I had nursing friends that did, and, and uh, people who worked in the medical field years would give themselves a bag of fluid. Sure. And now that's like the new, I mean, I say now, it's been a year or two where like you can go to those places and for like $149, they'll give you a bag of fluid. I have never done one of those. I've had friends that have been so hungover they've done it. They when, didn't really swear by it. When you're in Nashville, they have so many places that are doing IVs for people that there's there's competition. That's awesome. And so the price point. See, yeah. Do you see guys? And they, I'm not there's even a guy with a, There's a guy with a trench coat. Yeah, I got yeah. your banana bags. I got I'm you. not even kidding. I've been in a bar where they have the, the, the tower. It's like the coat rack with the bag hanging yeah. off, the saline bag hanging off it. And that's all that's there. And then it has the number of the place. Nice. And then you'll go in the bathroom and all the signs above the urinal have like all the different competing places oh, wow. where you can go get it. Mm. And they're like. Fifty nine ninety nine, sixty nine ninety nine. That's awesome. Like they've come down in price because yeah. they're competing, and I just can't bring myself to be like. Yesterday I went too far. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this morning I'm gonna wake up with a needle in my arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It I, just it feels seems like, a, like it's a step too far. For yeah. Me. Well, I've heard there's buses too that will like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've got a bachelor party. I need ten of those. Come to the house, 
and we'll just do it on the bus. That's crazy to me. Well, it was a while back ago. I mean, this was a little while back ago. The hangover is the, a, the price you pay. Like that's yeah, yeah. You, you screwed can, up. You can hack it a little with some with a with a Pedialyte or a yeah. IV, but like you've got to pay your fucking dues for don't get going too hard. Don't yeah, I had, I had a pretty bad hangover one time, and a while back ago, I was dating a girl who was a nurse, and she was nice enough to snag one, brought one back for me. It worked. How'd it work? It worked? I mean, it, it was a hangover, so liquids, yes. As far as being sick, I don't know. But I just needed it. it I was, just can't bring myself to put a needle in my arm. Yeah. Not not to get high or to come off of the high. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 like, yeah, I just, yeah. It's just not my, it's just not my thing. Yeah, sometimes I'm kind of like, I deserve this. I, I I outkicked my coverage last night. Like yeah, I think there's yeah. a little that that's a that's a moment of reflection that you. I'm earned. not gonna drink today because I feel like hell, and I might not drink the next few days. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit on this and I'm gonna think about it. I need to pay my price. If you wake up on a Saturday with that hangover though, you're oh gonna yeah, drink. you're gonna fight through it. You're gonna drink. Yeah. If you wake up on a Sunday with it, you're not drinking. That's pretty much the rule for me. Yeah. Saturday I go hair of the dog. Sunday I go. Pff. Never again. Well, I thought about it for two seconds because it's a lot. There's two places in Richmond that do the IV bag, and See, that's not enough competition to drive price down. What I know, are they but charging? It, but do you there used idea? to be one it's, right over it's here. Still less than your it's, co- it's still less than your copay and your emergency room fee. Yeah. Well, what 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 have I done? I woke up. Why do I need to go to the emergency room? <laughs> exactly. How is this irrelevant? I'm saying if you uh, want to get if you want to get an IV bag, if you want to get an IV bag of fluids. Oh, you where can you, go to the emergency room. Yeah, you can go yeah, to the yeah. emergency room. You pay 150 yeah. emergency room fee plus $300 for the bag of fluid, which is what they charge because they can charge it to your insurance. For the record, if you wake up <laughs> and you're in condition enough to go to the hospital and get an IV, you're a schmuck. Yeah. Like, I'm not. If you wake up and, like, you can't get out of bed and you need to go, I get that. That's well, my, thing, my thing is if I've gotten to that point, chances are I've already spent an excessive amount of money I should not have spent. So chasing that with a hundred and fifty dollars. Well, no, like, I think the one, the, like, the one place or the two places here in Richmond, they're eighty nine and ninety nine. Oh, I think the last time I saw, and it's been a year. So just obviously, I think COVID bag. shut the one down that was over here. There was one right over here. Um, I had no idea off of Busy Street. Um, oh, by the mechanics. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah, I thought it was in that little shopping center. There was. Like nice yeah, I don't think it's still there. But like, if I've if I've uh. If I've already spent a couple hundred dollars, like, I don't want to take my hangover that probably was going to last me six or eight hours or ten hours. Like, yeah. it's not like it erases your hangover. It's no. not like you walk out of there and you're kicking, you're tapping your heels on the way out of the door. Like, Or like you say, you do the same thing, which is, we're going to go to brunch. I'm going to get a very nice Bloody Mary. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, kind sometimes back yeah, like 10, 30, yeah, 11 the dog might make the hangover without, go away. Without, you know, going aggressive and saying, okay, it's Sunday. Let me have a brunch. Let Actually, get the that's probably boom. your best hangover fix, honestly. Yeah. Have a couple more drinks in the morning, taper yourself off in the afternoon, and then you get probably a good feel night's better. Sleep yeah, and you'll be good, good to go. Sleep, go to bed at 9 o'clock on Sunday and, and wake up Monday morning feeling From fine. From a scientific standpoint, it is the withdrawal. It's the, it's the dehydration and yeah. the withdrawal. Yeah. So, technically speaking, it's not bad. And the Bloody Mary... There's a reason it's become so popular. It's full of nutrients. Full of, yeah, full of vegetables. And, and we know this because we're a research facility, and we do this on the daily. Obviously. Dude, if you contact myturtlestore.com, <laughs> they will show you that I have paperwork to prove that I am a research facility. <laughs> Mostly turtle-based research. But they, they wanted a profile picture. You have got you sent one in the white lab coat. <laughs> yeah, just me and my lab coat. <laughs> and a beer tap behind you. <laughs> yeah, and a dozen turtles. <laughs> It's not a bad look. We get the turtles drunk on the daily and see what happens. I've got a terrapin <laughs> high and hazy. That, is that why we got those turtles wasted last week? <laughs> Research. I gave one liquid Research. IV yeah. and one, one, Pedialyte. Uh, one Pedialyte. The Pedialyte one's at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> why has the tank got sparkling water? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Bu- what's the bubbles for? <laughs> it's just good for the uh, stomach. <laughs> don't worry about that, Stu. Uh, speaking of special treats, you had an anniversary, Troy. I did uh, last night. Yeah. Anniversary of Williamsburg Bear. Yeah, four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For those that don't, Bear. For those that don't know, go back in time. Four years ago. Do yourself a favor and listen to the uh, the legend of the Williamsburg Bear. Yes. Yeah, so when we moved, we got we got married. Also known as Troy's anniversary. Yes. Also known. <laughs> Happy as. anniversary, buddy. Thank you. 
we appreciate it. We got married in June, and then uh, six months later, we moved out here to Chesterfield, and my mother got us a gift card to Roos Chris, which I'd never even been to a Roos Chris. I'd only heard tales of them because... You, you know what's funny, dude? The, f- the night I proposed to my wife, we went to Ruth's Chris right after I proposed to her, and now I go there for engagement, or, or uh, sorry, <laughs> anniversary <laughs> for anniversaries yeah. every year. Yeah. Nice. I had never been to a Ruth's Chris before that either, so yeah. it's just an anniversary thing. Otherwise, yep. I don't go. Yeah. Well, we kind of figured out. So we did it once a year on the anniversary, but then we found out about if you look, there's there's only one Ruth's Chris in the Richmond area. And it's right down the street from us. They have a dope ass, and you've been the patio. Dope ass patio. Oh, yeah. I insist on the patio. Dope ass happy hour prices, like the drinks, the food. It's the same food, smaller portions, hella cheap compared to like well, when and you they eat have there. A, they have a burger that's like twelve bucks, which I get. Yeah. It's like two bucks more than a gourmet burger. It's still only twelve bucks. You're at Ruth's Chris, and you're on the patio listening to jazz. Like yeah, you get life their is hi- good. You get their uh-huh. high end cocktails. Everything like it used to be. I don't know what it is now because I've been on the patio in over a year. But it used to be like everything was nine dollars. Like you get ahi tuna for nine dollars. You get the high end mixed drinks for nine dollars. Like everything's nine dollars. Yeah, I was there. And it's uh, super casual. I was there last month. You and I went one time. We saw Pat O'Brien. Yeah, out we just there. Sat yeah, out we, yeah. But I went there last month actually, and I I went there during happy hour. And it is still, it's all the apps are like half price and all the, so that that's basically what it but is. And that's where yeah. the tune is. Is it's the bar open. back open? Because when we went last, which was it a is. couple months ago. It was open. It was open. Which was, a t- well, maybe all the outside bar? The outside bar was that. open. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. They were, they, they So were we made reservations. We were going to eat inside. And uh, our, our our old buddy T.O. hit me up once he heard. Penny and he Lane was like, Pub. yeah. He said, hey, man. Go early. We had six o'clock reservation. He said, "Go early." My uncle is a bartender there, and I'm gonna buy you guys a round of drinks. And I was like, "Shit, I can do that." We Free drinks, up, you said. Yeah. So we go up to the bar, meet uh, Terrence's uncle, super nice guy named David. I hope he's a listener. Probably not, but uh, <laughs> he makes us some nice cocktails. We're sitting there, and he can, he comes back over checking on us. He's like, "Oh, here's your anniversary. You know, congratulations." Well, there's an Older couple sitting, like, we're at the corner of the bar, and there's an older couple sitting right next to us. I mean, closer than you and I, Brendan, right now. Yeah. Like, And they're like, oh, it's our anniversary, too. And I was like, well, congratulations. Happy anniversary. And I was like, how many years? She's like, 42. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. I was Week like, 43. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, got your beat. <laughs> I was like, well, we're just below you. We're at 14 years. She's like, oh, that's great. And we're talking. And this, and the dude's not saying much, but the lady is like she just comes out of nowhere, and she starts talking race, starts talking politics, what the starts hell? talking all this everything. Stuff. You're not, did she hit on religion? Yes. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, right, religion. Good. Yeah. So she hit all yep. the things you shouldn't talk about at the dinner yeah. table. So like, just one, want to put it out there. <laughs> one of the, one of the examples is like. She's like talking and talking about kids, and I showed her pictures of my boys on the phone and talking about her kids and how old they are and her grandkids and then she's she's happy because four of her grandkids are are homeschooled so they're doing great you know they're not in the public schools and i'm like yeah that's that's a shame you know public schools are obviously the worst Gross. <laughs> yeah so would i be safe to assume that this lady's pushing 70 i i mean i would assume yeah i mean tw- let's say they got married at 20 she's at least 62 yeah, so yeah. And uh, she goes, yeah, you know, when I, I when when my kids were growing up, you know, someone was talking about how hard it is raising kids, and the lady said, you know, if only there was a book you could read to, you know, help you raise your kid. And I'm thinking, there's like it's like a billion dollar business of like books you could read yeah. to raise kids. <laughs> but I didn't say that. Did I'm she like, segue to the Bible? Dude, you're spoiling the lead. Oh, oh God. So, 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 so she goes. Okay. She goes. I told her there is a book, and I'm just looking at. It. She goes. It's called the Bible, and, oh. and and my wife and I are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm thinking, this is not us. Like we're not that couple. Like you were yeah. totally talking to the wrong people. You were like, you're talking about everybody poops. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. awkward. Yeah. And then like so then so then we like grab our drinks and and we go get dinner and we're like that was wild. And then we're like, how weird was that? And then I'm like, you know, when I was going to church every week, like, I don't remember the part 
about like what to do when your kids are fighting or potty training in the Bible. Maybe I missed that part. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, no, no, like, no. Don't covet their toys. Yeah. I mean, it's in there. You just have to stretch. Where's it. the breastfeeding part? Where's the diaper changing part? I'm really, I don't. It's in the back. I'm not very. It's a centerfold. Not well studied on the Bible. But I went to church a lot when I was it's, a kid. And it, I don't remember any of that. It's truly amazing. It like, and I would just say, some women of a certain age, what they're willing to just spout and tell you information her husband didn't have anything to say he was yeah, just because he like, gets it he's, he's like, like yeah, yeah. he's like how about we shut up yeah and how we about talk we about, shut talk up about football yeah well it's like, it's funny that you say that because just a few days ago before i had sick i had to, i was uh meeting one of my clients for a listing we had a listing coming on board we're going down there to take photographs oh you probably got to play all kinds of different cards you're, you're probably like Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm half I'm, Jewish, and then you're probably <laughs> playing like, yeah, I vote Democrat every time, and then you're probably yeah. like, oh, there, oh was, there was a story. I'm a huge Alabama football but, play, fan, like, just to get the sale. Like, you're probably was, selling yeah, yourself. There was your story Jack where, where, where Stu said he was going to be born again. Oh, God. Oh, nice. And we never told this. I remember That's he sat lo- on the board for, like, <laughs> like four weeks, but basically yeah. this lady was – She's like, you go to church, huge. right? And he was like, I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's the was, short version. Yeah. For 3%, the, I'll yeah, go to church. Exactly. <laughs> but if you buy the bigger house. That's yeah, yeah. right. So I'll go with you. I'm bringing this, we're bringing this house to market, and we've, I've only met the husband. Guy's in his late 60s. He's a veteran. He's retiring from the defense, and he's, they want to move to Texas. So we're getting ready to sell his house. His wife was out of town, never met the lady. Go back down there the other day. And she's there. And we kind of surprised the husband knew, but he apparently didn't tell the wife that we were coming at a certain time. So we were the pictures were scheduled. She knew we were coming, but she forgot the time. We show up. We kind of surprise her, the photographer. She, the house is in great shape. It's ready for pictures. But she comes yeah. out of the back bedroom, no teeth in. She forgets yes. to put her teeth in. Nice. Just and we're like, oh, is she gonna be in and the picture? She says, "You're selling a she, house." I, she yeah. says, "She says, okay, I'm gonna just step outside where you guys take pictures." But I love. I, I got up so quickly, I forgot to put my teeth in, and I was like, uh, "It's okay, ma'am. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll figure it I out." I was gonna buy that house, but are those and teeth then, on? And, the- and then <laughs> she just starts rambling and talking while the photographer's doing his doing her thing, doing his doing his thing. And she's like, is is he a professional? Like the guys can hear her. Yeah. We're literally and, paying and, him. And, yeah. And then that parlayed yeah. itself into, well You know what um, makes a professional an invoice. And yeah, I'm paying yeah, more. Literally. That's it. And then that goes into her talking about her time with her husband and how they lived in Korea for a while. And that's where their first child was conceived in the back of a pickup truck. And just what the sp- Spouting all this information. I didn't even like, get this couple's name. And she's like <laughs> telling me the Bible's what I need yeah. to raise my children. And I'm just like, or That's, we could talk about. And then, she, and then she's going on and on about how they only eat at the bar because the, the food in the restaurant's too expensive. I'm like, we're getting ready to walk in there, lady. Like, what are you talking about? You know what's funny is so many people go to Ruth's Chris to, to only celebrate yeah, something. Yeah. And so... I remember the first night we went in there when I, I proposed to my wife. Immediately, the table next to us, a couple like 70 year old people, yeah. they were like, It's our anniversary. Congratulations. They bought us a drink. It was like, Then when we were in there for our anniversary, a couple showed up and they were like, It's our, we just got engaged. Yeah. And like this, it's like everyone goes there for a special reason. So you could just go in there on whatever special day, and I guarantee someone's going to walk in celebrating the same thing. Oh, yeah. And it gives you someone to talk to. What are you guys doing here? It's Tuesday. The first time, yeah. <laughs> the fir- the first time we went, um, and oh, and by the way, before I tell this part of the story, it was a Wednesday night, and it was packed. Like, and it's back to normal. Like, it is. it was crazy. But uh, the first time we went 14 years ago, I recognized an older couple because I recognized a guy who worked in uh, research at the hospital. So when I was doing inspections down at the hospital next time, I said, hey, I saw you at Roos Chris the other night. You know, you, sure. I, I, I thought about saying hi, hi. And I said, you know, the wife and I were there for our first anniversary. He was like, my wife and I were there for our anniversary. Like, yeah. it's kind of what, you know, a lot of people go there for. But I also saw a lot of people last night that were like, just there for nothing. and Or maybe they were celebrating something, but like I saw a group of three women i saw a family with like but i would say it's a pretty steady i would say 25 percent of the people in there for a special occasion yeah so you can find somebody that's celebrating the same thing yeah 
hell, I'd like to go in their next anniversary and start like seeking them out and eventually get to like my anniversary crew. I only see them once a year. Yeah. <laughs> That would be like the best. You and that's all you want to see. <laughs> see yeah, well, hell no, I don't want to. I can't wait for the year they don't show and be like, Todd and Melissa blew it. I'll tell you what, this, a, couple, a couple things surprised me because we didn't go last year and I, we might not have gone. It's been two or three years. So one, the first thing that surprised me was the um, the wardrobe. They have yep. a dress code and it's, the years past, it's always been like people really kind of dressed up, but like people were in jeans, people were in like Unbuttoned, I mean, untucked, like button up shirts. People were in, you know, people were really I wore a sports up. coat. I'm, I'm a dork, but well, I don't I have a sports coat, but I did wear a long sleeve button up shirt and khakis and dress shoes. Like, I was, I was dressed up, but like, people were there in like polo shirts and stuff. People like are that. starting to, yeah, I think, I think the pandemic jeans are, in jeans general, are acceptable. Well, well jeans you, are acceptable now professionally, yeah. Um, because that's, yeah, I blazer and jeans is what I went in. Yeah, but I saw a little thing that was talking about is the tie going away. Yeah, I the think tie the, is dead. The tie yeah. is dead. So the suit I'm, without a tie looks pretty dope. I'm the most conservative, like like dresser when it comes to professional attire. That's yeah. kind of my mo. I've always been. I always feel like they. I always kind of bought into that whole gray, thing blue, of, black pinstripes. But I bought vest. into that whole thing of like like dress to where you aspire yeah, to yeah, be, yeah. not not where you yep. are, and so. Forever, I wore a suit and a tie when no one else was wearing. Yeah, a I suit used to wear a shirt and tie to to work when I was working down at at uh, VCU, and no one would like. I was an outlier, but, but even, it got me. It got me far. It like, does. It does. People but, like see you in a shirt and tie, yeah. and they're like, "Well, this guy means business." But it's, now I can be in a suit and no tie, and I'm far overdressed compared to everybody yeah. else. So like, the tie, are they younger you younger than you? Even older. Like, what I'm True, noticing yeah. is even older now, like, if they're wearing the, the suit and no tie, they have an extra button open. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like they're all getting... We're getting hella casual in here. Yeah. Yeah. But now, everything has gotten so loose that I'm actually getting to the point where I'm feeling comfortable being jeans, tucked in shirt, sport coat. Yeah. Because I'm already still one step more dressed than everybody yeah. else. So it's gotten to that point where, like... The tie is so far gone that somebody with a very conservative mentality like myself doesn't even, not only do I need, not need the tie, I don't need the slacks. So it's funny you mentioned that because like 15 years ago, you know, it was the same philosophy. Dress dress to where you want to be, like like two levels above oh, of you, course. you know. And I remember being at a, uh, I, was at, yeah, I was at a convention and for work and they said, hey, you know, if you really want to aspire you should dress two levels above you, and I said, "Well, then I guess I'm going to be in golf shorts and a, and a polo." Yeah, because yeah. yeah. my, my yeah. GM's on the golf course twenty four seven. That's the truth. Because <laughs> the most the wealthiest people that that we we see these days, you know, they're in a hoodie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. exactly. <laughs> and then also the thing I noticed was if you've ever been to Roos Chris and did the you know dining in the dining room, like it was a lot of show. They had back waiters, and they had the guy that comes out and takes the, the the knife and takes the crumbs off your table oh, are they not doing that that's all gone like no way it's like if you're not going to take I the crumbs you, off my table i'm not paying a premium i bet it, you it'll come back though oh and they hit you with an 18 percent gratuity for everything now which is that, well, that messes me up it messes me up because yeah. at a place like that i tip at least 20 percent like but i you know me. Yeah. I'm an oh, over-tipper. Yeah. Yeah. 20% is like if you literally forgot my steak. I'll give you 20%. I'm like 20%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, this This flusters me when they when I see the 18% has been added. Yeah. Because now I don't know what to do. Well, I don't t- – if, if, if you're going to preemptively hit me with a tax on that, a tip, like I'm just going to – that if I'm that's doing, what you guys think is good, then that's what I think is good. I'm doing. I'm doing 5%. So then oh, you're going but above. Where, but, but you know my that's yeah. my mentality. I'm always so 20. for the for the servers that's good. But w- it, there's no incentive for the servers to do any better if they already know exactly. they're going to get. But I wonder 18%. if that's why they're not scraping the crumbs off. I think they're well, not they've scraping cut, the well. They definitely crumbs. cut some. They've cut some employees. I think to save. Yeah. I mean, obviously, COVID has been sure, hard on sure. everybody. So they just they don't have the staff. But they don't need think to get back to that because that's the reason I go there. Yeah, I go there yeah. to have somebody fluff my pillow and yeah. Well, if I remember correctly, regardless of 
COVID, not COVID, whatnot. Ruth Chris, the average age of the wait staff is 39 to 41. Yeah, they're it's like professionals. professionals. It's because yeah. they get – they're pulling 65-plus as a server annually. Yeah, good. You, you subtract their cocaine addiction, and like, they're still making thirty. <laughs> I'm just saying, they don't. They just, there's no. Tur- there's not a whole lot of turnover for the wait staff because they stay. No, because you aspire to get to there. Yeah, and look at look at how they dress. Yeah, See? my my wife when she was in college worked in they still as have a time. hostess in fine dining, and she worked with professional wait staff. Like, yeah, they yeah. make hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Yeah, career wait staff yeah. people. I mean, that's look. It happens. Yeah. The tuxedo. I was wearing a tuxedo for three nights at the Country Club of Virginia. And what were you? What were you doing at the Country Club? You were serving hors d'oeuvres. So or the fine. I was the. I was a waiter at the fine dining. So there was a there was a room that only sat forty. Uh, it was me, another waiter, a maitre d, the chef, the sous chef, and the salad person, and one bus boy. A and salad person. Yeah, and I what was making. Doing? I, I talk salads. salads. <laughs> 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 you stepped on it, man. <laughs> I had it. <laughs> I thought. I make salads was hilarious, <laughs> no. but you really upped it. So yeah. Toss salad. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I had that. that no, was that a, was the one weight I job. I set myself up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and those, those, uh, those, that was one weight job that had a two-week paycheck because everybody just signed their check. It wasn't like I was getting tipped out nightly. Yeah. Sure. They just signed their check. I got paid when they Well, then what are you do, putting so. up your nose if you're not getting tipped out nightly? That's, a, that's what makes that's it. A, that's, yeah. It's a different level of weight staff. Yeah. Good, Good for them. Nice. I mean, I was... Six seven hundred dollars in three nights. I tell you, if, if you've never been to Roos Chris, the food's amazing. It really is. Like yeah. it's high it's price. It's the only place I eat spinach. Now there's the, other the cream spinach. I love the cream. There's spinach. other good steakhouses that I've been to that like I've heard Fleming's is better. I've never been, so I don't know. But uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't to go me, to them. Well, it's like so. There's the place uh, Buckheads is allegedly like the nicest place ever. But like if you've ever driven by that place, I'm like. It's in a it's strip in mall. It's in a strip mall, and it's like, I'm not paying top end to go. T- it's not even a good strip mall. Like it's, it's a standalone, old school Red Lobster building. Is it really? At the end of the mall, at the end of the strip center, it's like bucket. That's heartbreaking. <laughs> it's weird. But that's I mean, little, but then Bruce a, Chris is in like a 130, 40 year old plantation. Like and that's unique. They're yeah, the only which really is supposed to be haunted. Like my kids go by and they go, "That's the haunted place." Oh wow, oh. I didn't hear so that. So there's like, oh yeah, they have like a whole. If you if you ask them about it, they they'll go into the a whole Bellary. diatribe oh, yeah. about. Yes, it is haunted, and we have all of this and that, and it's, you know, if you ever get to have a little private party though, in the room that's where the sh- the small doors are, just to the left that'll when you walk happen. in, that'll never happen. Those are, yeah, like I'm a not group paying of, that much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to run out on Applebee's. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, dude, I'd run out of Chili's. No, Fridays. 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 <laughs> Fridays. I'm all in on a Fridays. Yeah. If I have to go with, like, the chain Americana restaurant, yeah. we go Fridays, then Chili's. Applebee's is pretty far down the line. You saw the Ruby Tuesdays that closed down the street here is now in IHOP. No, I dude, right right oh. by Home Depot. I just yeah. realized the other day that like like I drove out like further than like three miles, <laughs> and I was like, "It's so different out the here. The world's all new." <laughs> yeah, it's. Yeah. I, I'm 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 really trying to ease myself back in. I'll get there. I'll get there. You'll get there. Yep. One day. Hey, and for other Slow people, for for people that are aspiring, no an easy way to do that. What refinance your home? Yeah. You can save a ton of money. It works. I Re- highly recommend it. Reach out to Screen Door Mortgage. Hit up Jimmy. Tell him that you were sent from inside the pallet house. Do you know how much money you save when you refi and like go from like 30 Dude. to 15 or something? Like It's insane. I literally, hell yeah. I didn't change my payment, and I cut 10 years. Yeah. I was like, well, that's not a bad idea. And then like, you just say, like, when you, that day, I'll always remember that day I signed when we bought our house, and it showed you like what your final price was on yeah, i was like wait what you're paying double yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly no no now is a good time to do it and that's why i bring it up it's more yeah. of a pro tip than, a, than an ad but i was also uh talking to uh to jimmy over a screen door mortgage today and uh it just got me thinking man like this is this is the time and it won't last long yeah this is the time yep so if you if you do want to refinance or you're looking to buy a new home reach out to jimmy over at screen door mortgage just look up screen door mortgage or try this screen door mortgage.com I mean, and if you just have questions, hit him up. He'll answer your questions. Dude, every time. That yeah. dude answers my questions. I ask him stupid-ass questions all the time. That's, a, that's what you Not do. Not even related to mortgages. Yeah. 
Oh, a train <laughs> leaves Chicago headed east, going sixty five. I mean, he'll, I, he'll asked, there him, for I you. asked him a couple of weeks ago. I was like, "Hey, man, what's the difference between this kind of wakeboard boat and this kind of wakeboard <laughs> boat?" And he just called me back. I got texted him. He called me and he gave nice. me the answers. I was like, "Thank you." Today, I was like, "How hard is it to finance a single wide trailer?" And he was like, "Actually, you'd be surprised." And Jim, I was like, "Well, look at this!" <laughs> like, Jimmy's he's, gonna be like, "I've got a ton of calls about people trying to refinance their yachts." Yeah. <laughs> hey. Brennan's trying to buy a mortgage. boat before he has a place to take it, but hey, go for it. Dude, I live in a world <laughs> that's mostly in my mind, and it's fine. It's fine. I'm yeah, taking you, boating classes, have no boat. Yeah, checks I, out. I have three life vests. Yeah, you do. So, so you're almost there. Ahead of the curve. Yeah. Ahead of the curve. <laughs> and this summer, you're probably going to need some sunglasses. Head over to Nectarsunglasses.com. Do yourself a favor. Drop Bowflex in the coupon code, which is a horrible coupon code. It'll save you 20%, though. So it's awesome. It's, it's the best coupon Yeah, it's coupon hilarious ever. to listeners, yeah. but yeah. it's heartbreaking to one of the people on the podcast. We got so popular, it's, we had to change it. That's the crazy part. That's actually the best part yeah. of that whole story. Yeah. Honestly. Like, our cool. shit was out there. That's how popular, thanks to you guys, the listeners, that's how popular we got. Yeah, because everyone was passing it around, yeah. spreading it around. He was like, he's like, you couldn't possibly have that many listeners. You can even <laughs> share it with the non-listeners, but... Make no, them listen to share both flex and yeah. yes, valid point, Troy. Yeah, Cincinnati SWAT. When was the last time we talked about the Cincinnati oh, we SWAT? It's been a while. It's been a minute. Now that you're allowed to touch phones again, <laughs> <laughs> grab someone's phone, go into yeah. their podcast app, sign them up, subscribe them to Inside the Pallet House podcast. And if you haven't had a chance to head over to our uh, our Facebook page, please do so. Like us, interact with us, or you can always send us an email at inside the pallet house at gmail dot com. Or you can always find us on Instagram and Twitter at ITPH Podcast. And if you have ridiculous amounts of money and are just trying to get rid of it, you can always hit us up on the Venmo. At Inside the Pallet House. Easy enough. You I know understand. what else you could do? You could fucking rate it. It doesn't take but a second. Or review mm. it. Rate, review, give us a five-star rating. We'll read that shit out loud, make it funny or not. I don't care. Trash do, trash me. I don't care. We're going to read it out loud. It's I be care. Funny. It'll keep me up all night. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trash me. <laughs> trash Brendan. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Easy target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy target. Thank Punch you. up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. We'll talk to you next week. Cheers. Cheers. Peace out, guys. You edited guys. What about the girls? It's... Relative to everyone. The Is it? You were the one who was changing your pronoun earlier. Did he just say what I think he just said? I said the days. Oh, the days. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget the peace days. Peace out, all. Peace out, or, everyone. Or just peace out. There you go. Peace good, out. Na- good night, Moon. Bye, Chris. Ah! That was a pretty good podcast, don't you think?